ah, another lovely day to get some lead down range and we'll be pushing the 0.22 LR today on a resettable target and that's going to be 100 yards with a big red arrow and this is the CZ style 0.22 LR love it, I love it Again today doing some target shooting this time with the rimfire rifle now today I've got the Caldwell resettable rimfire target and it's okay for 2 2 uh, 1 7 HMR and it's a cracking target to shoot at but it can also be one of my least favorites um, I'll just go through on good points and then show you the bad point of this target uh, what you really want to be aware of when you do set it up right so basically it's forward facing and you've got your four gongs little gongs at bottom and you've got your resettable gong at top uh, well, in practice if you hit them you're supposed to flip up each turn as you hit the gongs and finally when all your gongs have been hit and they're all facing down you shoot your resettable one and there you go there you go again uh, but the bad side of this target you've got to really be careful of your backstops now it's this point here it's quite high up and as the target's resettable put these back it's basically when you hit that either the bullet or the splatter is either going to ricochet and I did some testing of this target on quarry uh, I did get ricochets but I got the splatter from the bullet as it expanded and it went out in a fan shape just behind the target so you really got to bear that in mind you want an ice, ice backstop with this target you don't want to get to go too low with it uh, like I said just when you hit that the splatters was in a fan shape behind it and about similar heights as the target so do bear in mind that when you're using this target but overall a cracking little reactive target to use so like before 100 yards to the resettable target again I'm going to be slightly elevated with the 2-2 two -two style and uh, see how we get on we've got just a breeze today pretty big difference to last time we were up here with the Ebony 2-2-3 two -two so, should be a nice, pleasant target shot. It makes a change up here. Right, let's place this target at. Now, uh, I've re zeroed for 100 yards today. Uh, basically, for safety, safety's sake, my usual zero for hunting is about 60 yards. And you're really careful with the LR rounds, especially on this shoot. And you only have to look at the LRs and they'll ricochet. You've got to be careful. So I have re zeroed. So there's no hold over. Not today. You've got to be extra careful on this range.
Now that was a very lucky GoPro. Shot was over to the left of the camera. Camera lives another day. So yeah, considering it's only one fault, the resettable target is pretty fun to plink. I do keep an eye on that eye for that bike stop. Other than that, cracking little target. There's some rounds I recovered from underneath the four guns. As you can see, nice expansion. Safely drawn down into the ground. I do try and recover every bit of lead. I do fire, it's impossible. I do try and get majority. You know, I touch a subject lead it later. And finally, love it or love it, the nickel plated CZ style. It's no longer manufactured. Now, this one is 13 years old. It's had plenty of rounds through it and still as accurate the day I bought it. I do like the rifle. Some days I do bulk and it's colour. Nickel plated. And the sound mods are so uh, ideal for hunting crows. See you, my love. Oh, I fancied a bit of blink like you do. So in the next video, I may just have to get some big gong action out with the ebony and get the gong out and see how we go with that.